Hello guys, very quick and simple video here to show how to create this effect in Click. So I have a button that is changing the value of a variable and this chart here is a container with some conditions. So let's see how to create this effect. First I have some visuals here in the page. As we can see a, a bar chart and a pie chart. Um, I will first create a variable, okay, I will call it V example and I will give it a value of zero. Let's hit create and now we're done. I can display this value in a KPI or in any expression by using a dollar sign like this. So dollar sign, open parenthesis, V example, which is the name of the variable. Hit apply and we can see zero here, right? Now I will create a button and with the actions, I can change the value of a variable. So let's let's find here the option to set variable value. Now I find the variable here, the example. If I put one in here, now when I click this button, my V example variable will be one. But I want to toggle between one and zero. So let's go back to the expression. And instead of setting a value, let's create an expression that will be if my v example variable is equals to zero, give it a value of one, and if it's equals to one, give it a zero. Hit apply. Now I can click here multiple times and it will always toggle between zero and one. Now let me bring the container element to our page. And drop the visuals in here. So this is the bar chart. And as you can see, we have the show condition option. I want to show this chart when my V example is equal to zero and the opposite for the pie chart. In this case, it should be equals to one. Now, when I click here, I will change between one and zero, and this will hide and display the charts below. Now we just need to customize a little bit. Let me delete this KPI. In this button, we have the option to change the background based on an expression. Let's use that as well. So if my V example is equals to zero, show me this color. Otherwise, show me this one. We can also change the label of the button using the same expression. And also add a border like this. In the container element, we can hide the tabs in the appearance section. So let's go down and hide the tabs and hide the borders. And there we go. We now have a button to show or hide the charts from this container. Of course, this is just an example. We could have multiple charts and multiple buttons to show our hide elements. But the goal of this video was to show this effect. And if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.